Dear students, in this video we are going to familiarize few compound words from our 12th textbook. In English, compounding is the process of combining two words to create a new word. There are three forms of compound words. Compound words are written sometimes as one word, that is closed form. Sometimes using the hyphen, we will write words, that is hyphenated form. And sometimes as two separate words, that is open form. To make it clear, let me explain you in detail. Closed compound words are formed when two fully independent unique words are combined to create a new word. For an example, the two words butter and milk are fully independent unique words combined to create a new word buttermilk. Referring a fermented dairy drink that is more in Tamil. Hyphenated compound words are most commonly used when the words being joined together are combined to form an adjective before a noun. For example, three-legged is a hyphenated compound words or combined to form an adjective before a noun stool. Referring a piece of furniture having three legs, that is Mukali in Tamil. Open compound words are formed when two words remain separate but are used together to create a new idea with a specific meaning. For an example, family friend is an open compound words in which the two words family and friend remain separate in a page but are used together to create a new idea with a specific meaning that a person who has known and spent time with one's family, that is Kudumba Nanbar. Compounding exists in several different structures of parts of speech including noun, verb, adjective, adverb, gerund and so on. Noun is nothing but naming word used to identify any class of people, place or thing, that is Peyachol in Tamil. Verb is action word used to describe an action, state or occurrence, that is Vinaychol in Tamil. Adjective is a word that modify a noun, that is Peyaradai in Tamil. Adverb is a word that modify a verb that is Vinay Urichal in Tamil. Gerund is a noun form of verb that is verb in the form of ing that is Tholir pair in Tamil. Let me introduce few compound words taken from the fifth prose unit. Grandmother is a closed form of compound word. The word grandmother is made up of two independent words grand and mother with a structure as adjective and noun. It is written as a single word, referring the meaning the mothers of one's father or mother, that is party in Tamil. The word grandfather is a closed compound word. Two independent words grand and father, functionally as adjective plus noun. It is written as a single word, referring the meaning the father of one's father or mother that is Tata in Tamil. The word school girl is a closed compound word with a structure noun plus noun referring the meaning a girl attending a school that is Palli Manavi in Tamil. The word headmaster is a closed compound word with a structure noun plus noun referring the meaning a man who is the head teacher in a school that is Talame Asriyar in Tamil. The word pussyfooter is a closed compound word with a structure noun plus verb referring the meaning moving cautiously that is echerikayana nadai. The word overstep is a closed compound word with a structure adverb plus verb referring the meaning pass beyond or exceed a limit that is meri nadatal. The word storeroom is a closed compound word with a structure noun plus noun referring a room in which items are stored that is semipu arai aladu kidangu. The word milch cow is a closed compound word with a structure adjective plus noun referring a cow kept for milking that is pasumadu aladu karavai madu. 
The word waterfall is a closed compound word with the structure noun plus verb referring an area where water flows over a vertical drop that is near beach in Tamil. The word drawback is a closed compound word with the structure verb plus adverb referring a disadvantage or a problem that is kuraibadu in Tamil. The word haircut is a closed compound word with the structure noun plus verb referring the styling of a hair on the human scalp that is sihai alangaram. The word output is a closed compound word with the structure adverb plus verb referring a device that produces things or deliver a data. Urpati aladu veliyidu in Tamil. The word software is a closed compound word with the structure adjective plus noun referring the programs and the other operating information used by a computer. That is men purul in Tamil. The word showcase is a closed compound word with the structure verb plus noun referring a glass case used for displaying articles. That is kachi piti in Tamil. The word diamond hard is a hyphenated compound word with the structure noun plus adjective referring a very hard substance. That is vairam pundra urudhi tanmai. The word fine grind is a hyphenated compound word with the structure adjective plus verb referring the meaning having a delicate arrangement of fibers that is nangu tukalaka patta The word light colored is a hyphenated compound word with the structure noun plus verb referring a light in color or shade that is velir niram kondavai The word flow tickets is a hyphenated compound word with a structure noun plus noun referring a seat on the floor to have a good view of stage that is made in nigalvai tarayil amarndavaru paarthu The word lime paste is a hyphenated compound word with a structure noun plus verb referring the meaning slacked lime used in beetle chewing that is chunambu in tamil The word ganisak is an open compound word with a structure noun plus noun referring an inexpensive bag made of natural fibers that is sanarpai alladhu koni pai in tamil The word front yard is an open compound word with a structure noun plus noun referring the portion of land in front of the house that is mun mutram The word beetle box is an open compound word with the structure noun plus noun referring a box carrying pellets prepared of beetle leaves lime and arachnids that is vettile petti in tamil The word bed sheets is an open compound word with the structure noun plus noun referring the cloth laid above the mattress of a bed that is padukai veepu The word swimming pool is an open compound word with the structure jaran plus noun referring an artificial pool for swimming in that is nichal kulam The word public speaking is an open compound word with the structure noun plus jaran referring the act of performing a speech to a live audience that is podu pechu alladhu poduvana sorpolivu The word oil painting is an open compound word with the structure noun plus jaran referring the art of painting in oils that is enna thal oviyam The word world famous is an open compound word with the structure noun plus adjective referring a known throughout the world that is ulaga pugal petra On exam point of view the question pattern on compound word in multiple choice has four types the first type of question pattern is to choose the right combination for the given compound word for an example haircut the choices are given in the structured pattern as noun plus noun noun plus verb verb plus noun the right answer is noun plus verb as hair is naming word that is noun and cut is an action word that is verb The second type of question pattern is to choose the right compound word for the given combination of noun plus noun. The choices are given as compound words sunset, schoolgirl, grandmother. 
The right option is school girl with a structure noun plus noun. School is a naming word that is noun. Girl is a naming word that is noun. Whereas in sunset, sun is a naming word that is noun. Set is an action word that is verb. In grandmother, grand is modify the noun that is adjective and mother is a naming word that is noun. The third type of question pattern is to choose the word from the options given to form a compound word with soft. There is no compound word such as soft pen or soft man. The right option is software. The fourth type of question pattern is to choose the word from the options given that not form a compound word with sun. Note the word not form a compound word. The compound words are sunrise and sunset. The sun drop is alone not a compound word. Therefore the right option is sun drop. I hope you have familiarized with plenty of compound words taken from our 12th textbook. Now you can scan the QR code for online test or to connect the link given in the description box to comprehend your learning process. Before taking the online test, remember the four types of question pattern. Thank you.